And Jason, how are you today? Good. <laughs> how old are you? Seven. Seven. My name's Lindell, and I've got a little experiment here for you. What I want you to do, whoop, I've got some buttons and some beads. And what I need you to do for me is just to put them into some groups. Okay. So you can put them into any groups you like, however you want to do it. So off you go. You want to start? What have you got here? Three groups of three. Three groups of three. Well done. Uh, can you see anything else there that you'd like to make a group of? One group for one. Okay, one group for one. What about if you use all of the buttons? What can, what type of group can you make with all of the buttons? Can I move that one to the arrow one just then? Yes. How about you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two groups for ten. Good work. Very creative. Okay, let's put them back together again. Do you want to have another go? Okay, off we go. <coughs> do I have to use all of it? You can do what you like, darling. What do we got there? Two good sticks. Good work. Okay. Now, what about, are you able to make a group with the buttons where in the group there's the same thing? So maybe not the same number, Possibly the same colour or the same shape. Three groups of three. Three groups. Two groups of three. Two groups of three. Good work. And in here, can you see any of the buttons that are exactly the same? Of what? Of a real button? No, uh, something that looks exactly like the other one.
There we go. Well done. Can you see any others? And how are they the same? Because they both have four dots. They both have four dots. Very good. Done. And how are they the same? They're the same colour. Good work, well done. Would you like to have a go with the beads? Okay. So what groups can you make with these that they might the group might be exactly the same? Writing down how clever you are. Mix it up. Mix it up. Uh, we'll start again. It's okay. Okay. Doing five at a time. Just do that one five. You go that one five, yeah. So there's two that were defined. So what have we got now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 groups of 10. 10 groups of 10? 2 groups of 10. Well done. That's very clever. You like your numbers, don't you? Clever. Might try it again later and we might be able to see if we can do some other groups as well. Yeah, did you have fun? Good. Thank you so much.